Good evening. So, it's been a while again. And I guess I have to apologise for not being more regular with my videos. But, you know, it's kind of a hobby for me. I'm not uh, trying to become the next Mr. Beast YouTuber. I just make videos as and when I have time. Um, yeah, so I meant to make a video roughly halfway through the year, um, which would have been obviously around July. Uh, now we're in September. I want to do like a halfway through the year stack update kind of thing, which is what this is, a delayed one. And just sort of see where I am really. It's just good to log what we've uh, picked up during the year. This is going to be about gold. I'm not going to talk about any silver I've bought or sold in this video. I was just talking about gold today. Um, as you can see here, this is what I've picked up. My plan was, uh, in my stacking videos, uh, my foundation stack videos, you can see it was uh, about collecting one sovereign a month. And that went okay for about three months. And then the gold price started to go up. And I started saying how, if you've seen those videos, I wasn't prepared just you know to pay this ridiculous premium you know one minute you're paying 340 330 for a sovereign the next minute you're paying 370 you know just in a matter of weeks and it ticks over into the next month and i know it's all about cost averaging and keeping the stack going but i was determined not to to see whether if i just waited the prices would come down and kind of in a way this video is is going to highlight some some uh, what I found with trying to maintain one uh, stacking one sovereign a month. So before we go into that, I'm just going to go into. I mean, yeah, let's just let's just let's just talk about that. Let's talk about what happened. So I got to the third stack video, and I had my third sovereign. You can see I've got a third jubilee, so a fourth jubilee sovereign here. Sorry, um, I bought that about six weeks ago. I paid £369 for it and today I'm looking at a 22 gold sovereign even though the gold price is tanked at 379 I can't find anything, 375 this is just bullion dealers on Facebook and uh, that you can get them for, I, I, you can still get a sovereign for 340 but I'm not seeing anything, you know, that's like a you know beaten up thing, I'm not seeing Jubilee sovereigns, I can't find them, 2022 for, for uh, less than 350 360 the point being I'm going to come on some Facebook experiences I've had recently as well um, I just I didn't follow through with my plan and what's happened is uh, is that uh, actually uh, if I had bought those coins the last couple of months I would have paid less than I'm paying now and ironically, the gold price has dropped a bit, as you know, it dipped under, uh, hasn't dipped under, it did dip under 1700 about a month ago, and it's close to breaking 1600 recently, I think. It's just hovered around 1700 flat. Now it's just gone back up on uh, making this on Saturday, so Friday night, it ticked over. I think it went to 1710, it's a bit of strength there. Just come back, you know, I don't know if a dollar's just at the top of its uh, game and it's, um, the party's over, but. Just in terms of stacking, just in terms of being consistent, sticking at it, I did completely fail. So really, this year I wanted a bet. I wanted like a twelve sovereigns, one sovereign a month was my plan. I wanted to accumulate about three ounces of gold, and we're now eight months in the year, and what you've got here is about forty-five grams of gold that I've picked up. So we're not really anywhere near my three ounce target. Um, so I'm about halfway. Well, you know, give or take. It's not. It's, it's not halfway through. You know, I, I, I'm nearly halfway. I could, if I picked up another coin or so, it's not that bad. But you can see, uh, I've got a fair way to go to get to three ounces plus this year. And why haven't I bought it? What is it that's holding me back? What is it that's holding me back? I think it's just the, um, the fact that I think I just got really down about. I think the. The, the spot price just just fluctuating so quickly and the sovereign price is fluctuating so quickly and having in my head that basically the gold dealers 
obviously are not in any shape or form going to um, really adjust their premiums, I've realised, for retail buyers that much. Yeah, gold could be 1800 and it can be 1700 at the moment. And really, the prices of a sovereign, say, for example, is not a hell of a lot in it. So I guess, you know, uh, I was waiting for something that was never going to happen. I probably should have known that, really. Probably should have just carried on plodding and stacking. There's nothing stopping me going out and buying, you know, two more sovereigns and being on track again. Maybe I'll do that. Um... But I did pick up a few reasonable price, one gram bar, five gram. I just bought that from the Royal Mint. Um, didn't get any deal on that. <coughs> Excuse me. And these are just one gram, that's two gram bar. There's nothing very exciting about these. I just picked them up as and when. So that's where I am with that, really. Um, I think it's hard. I think it is hard. I have a lot of expenses to pay out. I think that does weigh on your mind. I think the stacking game, you know. I think that collecting collecting stacking precious metals is is quite a tough hobby for your average middle class guy, got a half decent job, bit of in, you know, bit of disposable cash. Just to, to put in to put to put in three hundred and fifty pounds a month, five hundred pounds a month, you know, is asking quite a lot, I think, at the moment. I think some people it doesn't mean anything. I think other people are really struggle just to, um, you know, buy one gram. They're going to find it hard. Um, and I think it certainly feels like you know, it's 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 been it's it's very very interesting. I've had to sell some gold to fund some purchases. It's been a, it's been an interesting year so far, um, and I don't know really what to do next really I think the plan is is that I'm hoping for some kind of pullback but I just don't see it I don't really see if the dollar breaks down if it can't break uh, break this uh, the dollar index can't get over 110 in the moment it's about 109 and it kind of looking a little bit bearish that the party is over and gold will rise very rapidly and I'll be crying that I didn't buy more this year goes to 2000 plus an ounce and sits there for a few years because we've still got inflation we've still got a lot of issues out there and they're trying to resolve it by putting interest rates up in uh, America try and break the economy to bring prices down make it so people got less disposable income but I think the inflation target of 2% that they're setting is probably unrealistic it certainly can't achieve it this year. And when you think we're at roughly 10%, give or take, it's going to take, to bring it down to target of 2%, it's going to take years, surely, to good God. You know, it's not going to happen overnight. So that means we've got inflation factored in for years. So the only thing really stopping gold, it's like having a dog straining a leash around its neck is the owner's trying to restrain it and that's what the dollar's doing i feel that is where all the money is gone at the moment into the dollar because it's so strong rather than gold obviously bitcoin and, and cryptos come down bitcoin's well under 20 now at the moment i think that's going to break down i'm not going to go into that but that's that's there's a longer it's sideways the more bearish it is um so really i think as soon as we get some real uh a bit of consistent breakdown in the dollar and the gold price will go up so i guess after that ramble what i'm saying is that i'm sat here waiting for prices to go down so i can get my sovereign at 350 again rather than pay 380 for it or whatever and it's probably not going to happen this year because all the bullion dealers obviously they know something we don't because their prices are going up they're putting their prices up as the gold price is going down so what I'm seeing. The gold price is going down and the premium's going up. So they're probably having more demand because I think we're getting to this critical nexus point where the something is going to break. Something one way or other is going to break. And I think people have just had enough out there. Obviously, rising energy prices um, are going to be a major factor this year. And I can't see that being resolved with the situation in Russia. Uh, I'm not going to go into politics now, but, you know, so, in a nutshell, here we are. 
this is what we've got and I'm thankful that I can afford to buy and pick it up and hopefully hold on to it um, and yeah I think we'll just have to wait and see uh, what the market does but I, I do want to I feel like I've let myself down by not following through with my sovereign a month uh, plan and it feels like a bit hopeless because you know I'm, I'm about three months behind but like I say I think we're just I'm gonna have to make a decision one way or another time's running out for this year and you've got to set targets that's the whole point uh, I think and if you don't set a target it's, it's uh, and you, you don't stick to it you um, you know you just regret it, I think, you know, uh, and I think I'm, yeah, I've tried to sort of outguess the market and I've been caught out by the fact that I thought that gold bullion dealers and eBay sellers, Facebook sellers would capitulate more. I thought the price would come down more as gold essentially has come down reasonable amount. You know, we, got, we went sub 1700 and really there was still no bargain, still nothing, nothing. No movement at all. It's like they all know something that we don't. Like basically the gold is going to go through the roof at some point. At, in the near to medium future. So I think I've got to come to terms with that. And stop moaning and waiting for this sort of, uh, you know. I mean there is talk of 1550 gold uh, coming back. 1550 in dollars. I, I would think at that level there would be some change in the premiums and the prices you're seeing but really it's too tough to call and really is it is it that big a deal uh you know because the upside is far greater i think i think the upside is far greater than the downside of gold gold may drop by a hundred dollars let's say it goes to 1600 okay big deal yeah but we know that won't last very long whereas the upside is far greater it goes to two and a half thousand, three thousand. I'm going to be weeping. I didn't pick up some now while I had the chance, you know, at a much better price. So I think a decision has been made. I must carry on with the sovereign stack and picking up some random bits. And, um, you know, that's the plan. So, anyway, that's my waffle. And uh, I hope you are stacking. Let me know what you're stacking. What was your target this year? Did you, if you met it, if you exceeded it, if you've given up. Um, I think whatever you can afford to stack, you know, a lot of people saying about one gram bars again, and you know, is it worth a waste of time? I think it's not a waste of time. Far worse money things you could spend your money on. Um, premium is a bit heavy, but often you won't see one gram gold bars for spot anywhere for sale unless you're a bullion dealer buying them off somebody from another deal, or you happen to be lucky. And lucky that you are having to fire sell to somebody and you might pick up that. I'm talking in the general retail market, you know, you just have to accept that that's the barrier to entry for buying small gold. That the premiums are quite high. Um, I don't think it's a problem, really. I don't mind. So, yeah, I picked up, I did venture out into some pandas, which is quite nice. Um, and I did have that thing while I was sick of buying sovereigns, but actually now I look at them, now you look at them, you've got them, you think, well, actually it's quite nice having, uh, wouldn't mind having 10 of those or 12 of those, that'd be cool, let's keep going. So, yeah, it's all horses for courses, gold is gold at the end of the day, I've realised that, it'd be precious what for refinery or who produces it, as long as it's not fake and it's, you know, it meets the requirements, that's what matters. Um... And yeah, okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, leave any comments or questions. Uh, do hit like, give us a thumbs up. And um, I'll see you soon.